Good afternoon. This is Chris Brecher with a Simpler Stocks free video for July 21st, 2016. So you can see it's about an hour and a half before the close. We're doing a special seminar today, the last hour. And basically, we're going to talk in there about combining indicators with powerful patterns. This is actually the uh, advertisement page on here. We can see on here from 3 to 4 Eastern, I'm going to be going over just different patterns and simple indicators to give you an idea of how I trade and what I'm looking for. And also what we do the last hour when we're in live trading. We look at some earnings ideas, some rumored takeovers, unusual options. We'll look at anything anybody asks me a question about. But the beauty of it is then they're putting in a thing called the meetup where you could see all these learning videos under correlation, uh, understanding correlations, trading with the MACD. We have a lot of them. It's not just two. If you scroll through them, you could see it's a tremendous amount. All of them are, they average about an hour each one. And a lot of different sites charge uh, at least $99 for each one of those. Those just come with your subscription. As long as you have a trial, which is good for 30 days, you also could get those as just you could look through them. And we think that's a big advantage of our site. Now to let you know what's going on today, it's all about the continuation of the catch-up trade. Right now you have the ES is up 925. You have the NASDAQ up 4675. We'll get into that in a minute of what the uh, significance of that is. Russell up another nine, actually underperforming again. Uh, just a bit. We're just not having this rip-roaring rally that I expected in it. Yeah, the bonds down 24, gold down 15. Another one of those flights from safety into the riskier assets in here. Yeah, the advanced decline, as you see, still 908 decliners. This isn't one of those huge rallies. This is more a catch-up rally having to do with the NASDAQ. Yeah, the SPX up, as you see, 10 points here. Transport's up all of 7 points. And uh, dollar up a bit. Uh, not much to speak of in there. So what was today all about? Well, right now it's about this. You have the ESs trying to fulfill that inverse head and shoulders. If you go on a 78 minute chart or a 195, you could see it pretty clearly in here and can see this level right here. A lot of people snickered on Twitter sphere when I mentioned this 105 point expectation. You take the prior move, let's say 1990 to 2100, 1995, 2100, let's say 105 points. The breakout is about 2090 in, right in here. Add 105 to 2090 and you get to 2195. Now at the time that seemed like heresy that we could go up that much. As you see, we're only 25 points from that right now. Unbelievable that we've had this type of rally. Now, as we have been talking about on Simpler Stocks for a month, when you get this kind of big rally, now back here, obviously, we hadn't rallied yet. So this whole 190-point rally in the last two or three weeks, we have been talking about the catch-up rally. Even back here before Brexit, we were talking about catch-up rallies. Once we had this kicking gear, the next thing you're going to get is algorithms wondering what else could go up. And what you get in here are things like this. You have the SPX, obviously, which is the ES, just the futures of it. Next thing in here is the NDX or the NQs. And as you can see, it looks like they're at a new high until you put it on a weekly chart. And you realize they are not there yet. They're off by about 80 cents. If I narrow this down, you could see it, about $80. Now, how is it going to get there? You have to have the Facebooks, the Googles, the Teslas, the big stocks kick in gear. Now, as you see in here, if you put in a 15-minute chart of the ESs, you can see they didn't look that great on the opening here. But now check out the NQs on the right, and you could see that they exploded on the opening. They just refused to ever sell off. And when this was down, these were still up 15 points for the day. When this stabilized, the ESs, this just took off. And as you can see, it's up 47 points now. Now, the whole idea with this is, What's the inverse head and shoulders expectation on the NQs? Go in here, right here, and go right here. And you'll see it's 4170. And like I said, this isn't voodoo science in here. These are just simple little indicators that, believe it or not, the more simple that they are, the more algorithms follow them. Take it up to this level, 4450. 
What do you get there? And I'll probably add wrong, but it sure looks like 280 points to me. Now when you add 280 to the breakout, which is about 4430, you get 4680. Guess what? We're only 30 points from that. The problem is if you look at the NQs, a lot of times they have to go to an all-time high before they can sell off. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but I've seen many times over the years in my 34 years doing this that when you see an index like this clear decisively and make all-time highs, the other indexes can't sell off till they make all-time highs. So watch this area, 4739. I wouldn't be surprised to see it overshoot a bit just like this is overshot, and then maybe we could look for some uh, sell candidates. In the meantime, though, probably you have to buy every dip until proven otherwise. Now, the danger on the left is the ESs have had no sell-off. So you could see here, even when the MACD went down, the only reason it went down is the momentum slowed, but it continued to go up. We've had no sell-off whatsoever. We've had nine or 10 straight days up in the Dow Jones and the SPX. Usually you see this, that kind of zigzag. Instead, this time it's just been a zig straight up. Now, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised to see the NASDAQ now start to outperform the ESs. As you can see here, take something like Goldman Sachs on the left and now and take it on a 15 minute chart and now take Google We'll take Facebook on the right. And as you can see on here, Facebook just taking off even on a 39. It, it's hard to even contain it on a chart. It's like a wild animal here. It's hard to keep it in the cage. But as you can see, it's almost at the black line up here. Facebook straight up. Goldman Sachs sort of consolidating down here. In fact, maybe forming a top. This is a typical action you get late in the market where you start getting the catch-up trade. You see Facebook trying to propel the NASDAQ to new highs, and you see the Goldman Sachs stall after pretty good earnings. And that's what we're seeing right here. Like I said, we have a $7.30 day trial going on right now. And what you get on that is the chat room. We have 9 to 10 in the morning. I'm on live Eastern every day going over the market. This week, because I'm going to be off next week, I'm having people fill in during that, but just as a good faith gesture, I've been on the last hour every day this week. And today we're doing obviously the last hour, the next two days I'll do it also just to help everybody with earnings and unusual option activity. And it, uh, you know, it's been a big hit of me being on an hour on the opening and an hour on the close. Now the premium videos are a little more in depth than what you're hearing now. Email alerts are three different sections, stock trades and chart ideas, index and futures charts and unusual option activity. Luckily, I have been posting only call activity as I've seen this overall market going nuts. If, as one of my option videos uh, explains, and also I'm doing an option webinar in August, is when you see unusual option activity, you try to go in the direction of the overall market. When the overall market is going nuts like this, you're looking more for big call activity. If the market starts topping off uh, out, I'm gonna look more for put activity. So you can see on here, the last 10 days, all I've done is show call activity and almost every one has worked. So I'm really thrilled that those have been working. Every night I publish index and futures charts, anywhere from four to six charts. In stock trades and chart ideas, I get creative. Sometimes I show links to interesting articles, show a stock to its sentiment table of just sentiment indexes, which I think are important. If you uh, join our site, you'll, you'll get more of an idea. And also I show unusual option activity, try to show some setups uh, for long and short term. If you wanna know on the weekend, I posted this, a weekly list of potential bullish stocks. So don't think all I'm doing in here is showing day trading. All of these, I showed 37 charts that could be potential bullish patterns. As you see, look at anywhere from KERX to LRCX, to LSCC, a lot of them have worked wonderfully since I posted them over the weekend. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, like I said, I'll be on tomorrow afternoon. If you sign up for the trial, you get, if you sign up right now, you get me for the next hour. You also get tomorrow morning. There's a lot of stuff that could pay for your subscription for a year in here. 
Last thing I want to mention in here is we have up a seminar tonight by my boss. And uh, it's really, really good thing in here. Talking about earnings trades, just like I've been talking in here. And we're, he's doing a video tonight. I'm trying to find it in here because I had it right in front of me and now I can't find it. He's doing a video tonight on earnings trades. Going in in here, simplerstocks.com, simpler options, earnings secret. You can register for the free webinar in here. And it's uh, John Carter tonight for two hours. Great idea to listen to it. I'll be listening to it. So I hope everybody enjoys this. Like I said, I will be talking to you tomorrow afternoon. Have a great night.